good afternoon and welcome back to break hard orchard it is late in the day on sunday and we had a late start today got a call from my regular job had to do a little bit of work this morning and yesterday we did not build yesterday we put in trees which you will see if you look at my valentine's day video that should probably be out before this but that's what I was doing yesterday. Why would I put in trees instead of building when I need to build so desperately? Because I am married. That's why I put in trees. The house is coming along. And today, what I'm working on is the first panel that is going to have a fur post in it. We have been over here prepping everything and taking our time getting ready for this because precision is so important i cut away the first piece of the sill plate that i needed to take out so that i can put in the fur post that is going to be holding up the beams that hold up our ceiling before i can put the post in i have to put in a spline at the end of this panel and what we've been doing taking our time is every eight feet centered on every eight feet is a six by 12 post now if you look down this wall you can see the spot on the other end where this post is going to set in here this post is actually going to sit kind of sideways six inches this way 12 inches this way and if you look straight down you'll see where that six by 12 is going to line up with it and the beam is going to go along the top of this wall and match up to it So you need to figure out which side you want sticking out. Okay. So I pick. like this white part over here. This? Yeah. All right. We... You want this facing the living room? Yeah. All yeah, right. definitely. So which? So you Wait. want this in the wall? Um, that side in the wall and this side out? That for it to be like that, this is the bottom. Right. Right? right. So I've got to lift it up, turn it, and set it in. Right. right. All right. All right. We got a plate that we've got to beat flat and then put on here because it won't quite fit. Okay. Yeah, because they don't make one that's six inches. A six by six post is five and a half inches. So the inside of this is five and a half inches. So we've got to see how, how far off we are. So I got to flatten this and then remanufacture it to fit the base of this. So the other tool we need is down by the creek. What is it? It is the clamp that goes, it's the vise that goes on the back of the pickup truck. Yeah, okay. This is the one that sticks out. So, this little gadget right here is quite handy. And it comes with a little plate you can use to mount it to a bench or a farm table so that you can have it available in more than one spot. So 
not gonna work. Well, crap. That isn't going to work. Well, that's fun. I thought I had this figured out. I do not have this figured out. It sits down there low enough that I can't drive a mounting bolt in it. It's not gonna work. Why? I need a drill hole. There's already holes in here. I need a drill hole into the block and mount that to the block with a tap con so that this prevents this from being able to go anywhere. Okay. Even though it sits between these pieces of wood, it's still you, you gotta have it as a safety. And then after it sits down in there, I drive a couple of architectural screws in the side, construction screws in the side. This sits all the way down. And I don't have access to it. It's too small. It's got to be bigger. So I got to find some, I can think this is 18 gauge or 14 gauge. I got to find some metal that I can manufacture these at. So we're not putting this in today. Okay. Well, that's that. Well, this was a swing and a miss today. Did not go the way I thought it was. Thought I had it all figured out. Well, at least I figured it out now. I can return these other 11 uh, plates and pick up the material that I need to manufacture the ones that I actually have to have. I hope, I hope y'all learned something at my expense gonna go ahead and start cleaning up now storms that came through the other day uncovered some of our stacks so we're gonna go ahead and get the covers back on those hope to see you guys back again next time at break hard orchard